are possible. I have friends that join the gym and they're still fat. Okay. <laughs> 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 the gym's a scam. Um, you know, the problem is you can't stop at Domino's on the way home from the gym. You know what I mean? Which I've done before too, right? Okay. You know, this is called net work marketing, not not work marketing. And no disrespect, some of you have done not work marketing before and wonder why not work. Okay, guys. So, so what do you guys? Okay. So a little background on our company, guys. The name of our company is called ACN, and. Uh, I've been, they've been around now for over 25 years. A little story here, because I don't get a lot of youngsters, so I've got to tell a little history lesson for my youngsters in the room. <laughs> there was only one phone company before, everywhere, okay? Verizon did not exist, Sprint did not exist, Time Warner did not exist. None of these companies exist. There was only one company, period, and it was called AT&T, okay? You wanted a phone, you had to buy from AT&T. Ma Bell, guys, same thing in Canada. It was called Bell Canada, okay, guys? And if you wanted a phone, you had to buy from them. Here's what happened in the early 80s. I wasn't involved yet, but 86 countries around the world signed an agreement with the World Trade Organization to break their phone monopolies. Change the law. Great competition. When that law changed, it created one of the largest transfers of wealth in the history of the planet. Instant billionaires were created. Okay, can we agree that the Verizon did good? Yes. yes. And Sprint and T-Mobile and Spectrum and all these companies, they've been into the marketplace because of that change in the law, okay? Well, the owners of ACN saw this change in the law and said, wow, we get a piece of the telephone industry and went on and built ACN. And ACN has since then gone on to be the largest direct sales phone company in the world. So in terms of direct sales and face-to-face -face selling, we're the biggest in the world, okay? We've gone into two new sectors since then. We've gone into gas and electricity. And ACN sells gas and electricity right now, by the way, in seven different countries, okay? So if you want to make money in the gas and electricity industry, we are the premier company. Now, it's funny because I do meetings all over the time and I meet different people, guys. There's other companies out there that make, you can do make, make money on energy, guys. There's another company that's in town that tries to get people involved with them. They're in seven states. That's kind of cute, okay? Seven <laughs> states versus seven countries. I'd rather get to seven countries. And I don't know, guys, who likes the concept of getting paid in pounds? Twice the US dollar, guys, okay? I love that concept versus just limiting myself to a few markets. I'd rather be a global scale and a global, global business. And the third sector ACM got into is we're in the credit card business. Those who do not know, credit cards is the biggest per capita industry in the world. It's a seven trillion dollar sector, okay? Today's day and age, I used to be in the restaurant business back in the day, it was all cash. Now it's very little cash, guys. It's all swipe, okay? And every time someone swipes, someone gets paid. Okay, we'll be discussing that here as well. Uh, Asian pays in 25 countries, did a little over 800 million in sales last year. Uh, what's cool about this is we don't even have 1% market share. I'm always asked that saturation question all the time. And this for 11 years, is it saturated? No, it's not saturated, guys, okay? We don't even have 1% market share. Let's put it this way, guys. If we could get 1% of the three, four industries I just talked about, just in Lewis and Auburn, you're all a millionaire in this room with 1% of the market, guys, okay? Now, what people say, well, how can you come up with that figure, guys? Well, think about it. the banking industry, the electricity industry, the heating industry, the internet industry, the cell phone industry, does that make sense, guys? Such a huge, massive pie, guys. We don't need to own the market to make a lot of money. We need to crumb under the chair. We have a massive piece of that residual for changing our family's lives, okay? Uh, for those that like to do some, like, some due diligence or some research on our company, ACN has an A-plus rating with the Better Business Bureau. Zoom Energy, which is our energy division, has an A-plus rating with the Better Business Bureau. And also Anovia Payments, it's our credit card processing company, also has an A-plus rating with the Better Business Bureau. Two other things you might want to do some research on Zoom Energy, just so you guys know, last year Zoom Energy was the number one fastest growing privately held energy company in all of North America. Number one. Number one on the Inc. 500 list in the energy sector grew by 16,000%. You can look it up, it's a fact, okay? On our credit card processing company called Anovia Payments, guys, we won Credit Card Processing Company of the Year Award last year. So we beat everyone, we beat Chase Payment Tap, we beat all the other companies in the market, we were the number one credit card processing company in the United States last year. And actually, uh, Inc. 500 just announced about a, 10 days ago that Anovia, just that one division, is the 86th fastest growing company in all of North America, okay? Is that pretty crazy to think about it, guys? People tell me, how's the management team for this company? Let's say, number one energy company, number one credit card processing company, guys, and we actually won an award of one of the fastest growing cell phone development brands in the world called Flash Wireless, which we'll be discussing as well. Okay, so let's go through this really quick, guys. Let's start with Flash, okay? So cell phone industry, can we agree that cell phone industry is a booming industry? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, huge opportunity there. For those that don't know, there's never been a down quarter since the invention of the telephone, okay? It's a massive sector, guys, and keep it really simple, guys. Flash Wireless, what we do, it's very similar to some of these other companies. So everyone knows what Boost Mobile is, or Metro PCS, or Straight Talk, you know what that is, right? Okay, so I'll give you an example. All they do at, at Metro PCS or Boost Mobile, Boost Mobile doesn't own cell phone towers. They just rent the towers off of Sprint, they rebrand it under Boost, and the bill says Boost, but it's really Sprint. Everyone got that, guys? If Metro PCS is really T-Mobile, okay? Well, what we do, guys, here's the difference. The challenge is, is like sometimes Sprint's good in some areas, Sprint sucks in Maine, okay? And T-Mobile's not so good in Maine, and it depends on where you are, right? So we go after every network, guys. Flash is the only company that I know of 
that uses Sprint's towers, Verizon's towers, and T-Mobile's towers, okay? So you choose whatever's better for you. Now, in my opinion, overall in the United States, this is my own opinion, Verizon has got the best network in the marketplace. One of the only objections I ever got from people is that I can't be on the phone and use the internet at the same time. Well, that has now changed. You can be on the internet and on the phone with Verizon at the same time. There's no objection I've ever given uh, in the marketplace, okay? So here's how it works. If you want to take flash wireless with us, no contract, no credit check, pop your SIM chip in the phone, and you're live. That's it, guys, okay? Plans range depending on what size of plan that you want, guys. Um, I'll give you some examples. Um, you have a plan about you know $50 a month with about five, six gigs of data, unlimited talking texts and calls in Mexico, Canada, and the United States. We have a huge, robust data plan. This is the most aggressive data plan actually in all of the United States, guys. $69, 50 gigabytes of data, okay? Those I don't know, guys, when you hear on TV unlimited data with Verizon and Sprint and all this stuff, it's a lie, it's not true, okay? It is and it's not true, okay? Because when you go over go over 22 gigabytes of data, they throw all your speed to like basically dial up internet, okay? So it is unlimited until you hit 22, okay? Ours is 50, okay? And by the way, if you go over 50, there's a problem in your family. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> it's like, right, get out of the house. Does that make sense? Right. Free some oxygen, okay? You know what I'm saying, guys? Right. Put it this way, okay? So here's how it works. We have a charity in ACN. I'm very proud of this. It's a charity called Project Feeding Kids. And I know all of us that are in the room that are involved, we're, we love this component of our business model. That every time a person pays a bill through our company, we feed a child in the local marketplace, okay? Project Feeding Kids last year fed over 1.6 million children were fed because of this initiative last year. <laughs> this year we're about on track to break a little over 2 million kids fed by the end of the year. And, and here's what blew my mind, guys. Like, we've all done support charity before, yes? Yes. That's an example. Who's ever bought chocolate bars or cookies off girl guides or schools and stuff? We all have, yes? Yes. Did you buy it because it was a good deal? No. No, <laughs> no it was the worst deal in history. Okay, guys? It's like three times the bar of chocolate normally, right guys? Okay. Yes. But why did we buy it? To support a cause. How about if you could say, use the same service for the same price or less and support the cause? Is that a little bit more sense, guys? Versus pay more and support the cause? Pay the same or less and support a cause. And we want to feed some kids, so we have a cool novel model. And here's how it works. If you help us feed five kids, if you help us refer five consumers to our company, just customers, well, we say thank you for the five kids, uh, feeding the five kids, and we thank you for that, and we never send you a cell phone bill ever again for the rest of your life. Free cell phone service for life. Now, people ask me, what's the catch? I'll give you the catch, because I know what the catch is, because I'm the one who came up with that program, okay? Here's the catch. It's not really a catch. Every 30 days, they take a snapshot on the billing cycle. As long as you have five active consumers, your bill is free. Doesn't mean you have to get five new customers every month. You just have to have five active customers on the books and your bill is free. Does that make sense to you guys? Yeah. If you have a family plan, just an example, say here's the family, okay? We all have phones together, and we refer five family plans. All of our cell phones in the house are now free, all of the phones. Is that pretty cool, guys? Okay, that's one opportunity. Second thing that we have, we can also do the same thing with our home phone, by the way. If anyone that still has home phone service, our big advantage on that, by the way, is for about $15 a month is our home phone. But we give free, we actually have, sorry, about $20 a month. We have a plan that gives unlimited free long distance worldwide in over 80 countries. Where I live in Toronto, guys, that's a big selling point. You can talk about free calls to India and China and Bangladesh and Mexico and Colombia and stuff. Big, big selling point for the market that I'm in. You refer five home phone customers, your home phone is free. Does that make sense, guys? Okay. Next thing is Zoom Energy. Let's talk about that really quickly, guys. Zoom Energy. Uh, number one last year, fastest growing public health energy company in North America. How we do this, we're partners with an energy company. You can look them up. They're called EDF. Is our partner. Who's EDF? EDF is the largest electricity company in the world, by the way. So we're with their partners. We're partners with them. Okay? So you take energy through me. Your bill still comes from CMP. We just offer you a better rate through the CMP bill. Does that make sense to you guys? If there's a power failure, you call CMP. Okay? There's no worry. You're just getting a better rate on the same exact service. Okay? But here's what's exciting about this. If you help us feed some kids too, if you're involved with the program and you refer 10, 10 electricity customers, and in the markets we sell natural gas, 10 natural gas customers, we take an average on this one though. We take an average of the 10 commodity parts of the bills that you refer to us, and whatever that average is, we credit to you, we give you free gas and electricity every single month. Is that pretty crazy, guys? Okay? So in my house, obviously I've got my energy free, obviously I've been for a while, okay? My home phone's free and my cell phone is free, okay? So think about that just for a second, guys. Add up all the bills in your head, just mentally visualize this for a second. Add up all the cell phone bills in your house real quick. You guys got that? Yeah. The heating bills, the electricity bills, home phone bills, if you still have one, and long distance bills combined. Imagine we got those bills free for life right now, guys. If you're wondering, guys, the average household in North America, so not Maine, in North America, is just under $500 a month on the bills I just talked about. It's about $490 is roughly the number, okay? So imagine this, guys. If I helped you get those bills for free, even if it took us a year to do this, a year, 
Was it still worth it, yes or no? Yes. Yes. It took us a year to find five customers, guys. What if, I'm gonna say something mean now and I apologize, what if you suck so badly <laughs> that we can only find one customer a year? It took you five years to find five customers. I'm exaggerating like being stupid on purpose, here, okay? Well, if it took us five years from now, from the next year on, if I'm saving you $500 a month, at $6,000 a year, yes? Yes. yes. 6,000 a year over the next 20 years is $120,000 savings. Yes. For the youngsters in the room, guys, because the other one of you guys are really young here, that could be 40 years of savings. <laughs> guys, that's quarter million dollars. What if you reinvest that quarter million dollars into an investment? That could be 500,000, 700,000, even a million dollars. Is that powerful, yes or no, guys? Yes. yes. That's huge, guys. We didn't even talk about making money yet. We just talked about getting some customers and getting your bills for free. Just that alone, that was a no-brainer why I saw the value of this opportunity. In case people oh, I was, who was always ask me at the end, what does ACN stand for? It stands for A Complete No-Brainer. That's the name of the company. <laughs> okay. So you didn't know, okay? Uh, on top of that, guys, we're partners with uh, Dish Network, DirecTV, partners with Vivint Home Security, Home Automation. And the last brand that we have is called Anovia Payments. So let's take that really quickly. Every time a person swipes a card, someone gets a check, okay? So very simple, at Anovia, we guarantee to beat anyone's rates in North America on their processing fees. We guarantee, okay, so what's our job? We all have relationships with business owners that we know. So here's an example of one that I got just recently. I don't think I actually gave this example, I don't think when I was, since I was back here, but anyways, I have a gentleman that I met in Montreal, my dad's neighbor, okay? His name is Mayor, and Mayor owns 23 jewelry stores. Okay, small little stores, okay? And here's the conversation. I guarantee to save you money on your processing. He's like, there's no way, no way. He's an older Jewish guy. I got the best deal, no problem. I'm like, you wanna bet? How about I bet you $2,300 I can give you a better deal? If I can't give you a better deal, I'm gonna give you 2,300 bucks. You want a free quote? What do you think he said? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All I had to do is send in his 23 bills from his 23 locations to Anovia. Anovia came back and gave me a quote. And this is a, just a specific example. I mean, every example is this specific one. But in this particular case, I saved him $12,000 a year on his credit card processing fees. For your contract, you save them $50,000, okay? So I won the bet, yes? yes. Okay. But why did I make that bet? Because I'll tell you why, I couldn't lose that bet no matter what, because Anovia Payments has a model that if we can't save a business money on their processing fees, we send them $100 per business. Well, I submitted them as 23 separate businesses. So even if I lost, I know he was gonna pay him $2,300. Does that make sense? <laughs> <laughs> so, I didn't lose that bad, okay guys? But here's the last two pieces to this, guys. The presentation I'm giving to you right now, I show this to all the business owners that I present to. I don't just try to get their service, I present this to them, okay? And here's the conversation, Mr. and Mrs. Business Owner. But does anyone in the room take credit card as a business owner, anybody? No, okay, the gentleman in the back does. Just an example, guys, how it works. When you have a credit card machine in a store, a restaurant, a clothing store, a dentist office, doctor's office, doesn't matter who it is. Whoever set up that credit card machine, that sales rep gets 10% of the machine. Well, how about you tell the business owner, how about you kick his butt out, and you take the 10% commission on your own machine on top of the savings. Does that make sense, guys? Yes, yes. That's why the jewelry guy got involved. Only they save him money. He now is a broker on his own account. He gets the 10% on his own fees. Does that make sense to you guys? We do the same thing with business owners on energy, guys. How many business owners in Maine do you know want the 5% commission check on their energy bill? All of them. All of them. I've never had a business owner when explained properly said, no, I don't want the check. Does that make sense to you? <laughs> I just signed up a pretty famous guy, not, not personally, but in my organization. I was in Calgary a little while ago. We signed up the former CEO of Microsoft Canada, okay? The gentleman has 80 rental units. Here's the easiest pitch. Do you want 5% of the 80 units? He goes, yes, I'm in. I make sense to you guys, okay? <laughs> now, why is that good for us? Well, because we get a couple of percents of his bills. So I make 2% of all those energy bills on all his locations because I had a 30 minute conversation. Is that pretty crazy, guys? One meeting and I get a check every month for life. Now, that's gonna give a bit of a bold statement for life. Why did I make that statement? When will he give up his check? Never, never. never. When do I lose my check? Yeah. 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 You got the whole basic principle, guys? Okay, so that's the basic stuff that we that we do with our company right now, guys, okay? Uh, we also do in other markets, by the way, we don't do it in Maine yet, but we do solar energy. Do you think there's potential in solar? Yeah. Yes. Oh, huge, huge potential. In case anyone had any contacts, the week before Calgary, I was in I was in Tampa. I've been traveling like I'm back to work, so I'm kind of they're shipping me all over the place. But here's what most people know: contacts in Florida. This blew my mind. I never knew this before. Did you know that as of like, about a month and a half ago, solar panels in Florida was illegal? Is that crazy? Sunshine State can't put solar panels up. Okay, <laughs> the law changed a little over a month ago, and they went like totally the opposite direction. Anyone in Florida that built a new building, by law now, has to put solar panels at the inception of the building of the building to get a permit. So we went from not having solar panels to everyone has to have solar panels. You understand why I went to Tampa? Okay, guys? <laughs> Massive opportunity on that. We actually make a percentage of the energy that's created on the roof by putting up the solar panels. It's a 20-year contract. We get 20-year residual. We're doing the work one time. That's why I was down there. Okay? So that's the services. Why you've never heard of ACM? Really simple. Why you've never heard of us? Because we don't do any advertising. Okay, guys? 
Verizon and Sprint and T-Mobile and U.S. Cellular and all these companies spend millions of dollars every day in advertising. I know from Sprint's and then Verizon's numbers roughly. Verizon spends almost six million dollars a day in advertising. Is that crazy? Yeah. Six million today. <coughs> Is that crazy? Six million tomorrow. <laughs> six million the next day. It costs these companies. Here's the number. Remember this number because I'm going to come back to it. They pay about four hundred dollars in advertising per customer they get. So they just have four hundred bucks they get a customer. That's their customer acquisition cost for the average telco. So who pays the four hundred bucks? We do, guys. Thirty percent of our cell phone in our pocket goes to pay those. Those costs. Well, the reason why you have everybody saying we don't need advertising is that they pay us to do some PR, guys. We're just promoters. And don't we all promote things every day? Every day we're promoting things, guys. A good restaurant, a good book, financial planner, you're in real estate. We're all promoting something. But why do we get paid for what we're promoting? I'll just give you an example. Young man, I see you're wearing an Adidas tracksuit. Are you getting paid to wear the tracksuit? You're getting, you're getting ripped off. Okay, guys? <laughs> because think about it, guys. When I was really young, guys, when I was 17, 18 years old, I used to be a professional squash player. It's not a big sport, but I used to get paid to wear certain clothing brands. I wore the brand, they had to pay me, okay? I was endorsing their brand as an athlete, they had to pay me to wear the brand, okay? What if I just give you an example, what if I give you a new track suit but it said ACN on it, I'll give you four grand a month to wear it, would you change? Yeah. 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 <laughs> bye bye Adidas, does that make sense? <laughs> okay, right? So really simple guys, we all promote things, why not promote things that make sense, feed some kids and make a difference in the marketplace? And so I did a meeting yesterday, I was up in Bangor yesterday, all places, okay? And people say to me, guys, oh, I'm not, I had a woman told me, I'm not good in sales. You good in sales? What the whole sales training right now, guys? Here we go, here's the sales training. Do you like free? Do <laughs> <laughs> you like free? <laughs> free cell phone service, you interested? Okay, free electricity, you interested? If you don't believe me, give me any of your cell phones, I'll text five random people on the phone. I have a hookup at Verizon, he's giving away free cell phone service for life. You in? See if they text back, no, I'm not in, okay guys? There's no way we're gonna text you that back. Does that make sense, guys? It's an easy PR conversation to have with individuals. With the money we save, that's how we're a little bit cheaper. And he said revenue shares with people like you and I. People ask me, does this really work? Uh, let's see, number one energy company, number one credit card company, and things have been rocking around the marketplace. But think about this, guys. How did you hear about Facebook? Someone, Someone told you about it, yes? Yeah. yeah. But the answer is, how did you hear about Instagram? Someone told you about it. Well, I just told you about ACM. Does that make sense, guys? You're either told about it or you're not told about it yet. That's the simplest thing, okay? So the first part of my presentation is done. What's the concept? Go wholesale, feed some kids, get your bills for free, if you like the service, cancel, go back. Anything negative so far? Nothing I can think of, okay? So it's the making money part now, okay? Owning